It is believed that every dog is similar to its owner. She can be sweet and attractive, or vice versa. But more often this concerns not the appearance, but the character of the dog. In today's video, we'll look at scary dogs, whose repulsive appearance often hides a kind heart and friendly character. Bull Terrier The appearance of the Bull Terrier resembles a large rat. The breed is considered the most unattractive among fighting dogs. People call the dog a killer dog, and for good reason, since he really was bloodthirsty, but in the distant past the breed has changed since then. An egg-shaped skull, small eyes typical of a pig, a long tail similar to a rat, all this inspires fear or at least bewilderment. The owners themselves say that the dog is a good guard and friend. In earlier times, cruel hobbies were commonplace and most dog breeds were bred not for homekeeping or protection, but for hunting, baiting large animals, and especially dogfighting. For some it was entertainment and an opportunity to make money on bets. Others, mostly rich people, wanted spectacles to somehow diversify their measured lives. The Bull Terrier is a child of that harsh era. His ancestors were successful fighting dogs. But thanks to breeders, the breed acquired a new stylish image. Before the ban in 1835, bull baiting with dogs was popular in England. The ancestors of English bulldogs took part in it. Then the breed looked different, high legs and a square, wide head allowed it to deftly fight large animals, but it soon turned out that fighting bulldogs were completely unsuited to new types of fights. Here even greater agility and cunning were required. Alas, the short-faced strong bulldogs could not adapt, the fights became too dull. Then fighting bulldogs began to be crossed with other breeds. Selection with terriers turned out to be the most promising. The resulting dogs did not lose their strength and tenacity, but in addition gained intelligence and dexterity. The new four-legged fighters were simply named Bull Terrier. These dogs became suitable for a greater number of tasks, including hunting and guarding. So when cruel spectacles were banned, thanks to their original appearance and excellent intelligence, Bull Terriers found their place in the sun. The Katalbrin, or another name for the Turkish dog, is one of the rarest breeds that is a great success to see in its homeland, Turkey. The appearance gives the impression that the dog is not healthy, its skull is extremely strangely shaped, its eyes are at a great distance from each other, its nose is forked. At first glance, such a nose may seem like a developmental anomaly, but in fact it is an excellent device that can sensitively capture the finest odors. The first recorded data on dogs similar in appearance to the modern Catalbran dates back to approximately 1650. Researchers believe that the development of the breed took place over a long period of time in the Turkish province of Mersin. The official homeland of the Catalburns is the city of Tarsus. Thanks to excellent hunting instincts, high trainability, and a sensitive sense of smell, the dog was actively used for hunting game birds. Like other pointers, the dog helps the hunter, detects game and takes a special stance, quietly showing the owner where it is. In addition to a sensitive sense of smell, the dog has the ability to develop great speed and move for a long time without breaking the pace. It is believed that they have no equal in Turkey when it comes to hunting game birds. The Katalbrin is considered one of the best search dogs in the world. The forked nose allows him to smell better and makes him unique in his own way. The Katalbrin is a calm, balanced dog with a lively temperament. She is very energetic and passionate when hunting. At home she is calm and unobtrusive. The Turks are held in high esteem for their agility and endurance. The owners claim that the Katalbrin is quiet and friendly, does not like noise and fuss, barks relatively rarely, strongly attached to the owner and other family members, friendly to guests, but distrustful of strangers. He gets along well with children and will not offend even the smallest and most persistent child. The same cannot be said about relationships with other animals. Due to the fact that the dog has a pronounced hunting instinct, living together with small pets and birds can be very problematic. The Katalbrin does not get along very well with other dogs, especially of the same sex. The Turkish breed usually ignores small dogs. He gets used to his own cats, but perceives his neighbor's cats as potential prey. Another very strange and rare breed is called the Peruvian Naked Inca Orchid. Her appearance can hardly be called attractive, and her image remains very catchy and original. The hairless body is decorated with a mohawk on the head, 
the skin looks and feels like a shell. The breed is an excellent hunter and guide. Its uniqueness lies in its fear of bright colors and the ability to secrete sweat from its body, unlike other breeds. These dogs are believed to have been discovered during the Inca Empire, in a cave where beautiful flowers grew orchids. Actually, this is why these extraordinary hairless dogs received such a strange name. Hairless Peruvian dogs are wonderful companions and can bring joy to everyone who meets them. Dogs of this breed are the national treasure of Peru. However, some even considered them unhealthy, because it is completely unusual for people to see dogs that do not have hair. They received official recognition in their homeland only in 1980. Peruvian Inca orchids received recognition from the International Federation of Sinologists in 1985. However, to this day they remain one of the rarest and most exotic breeds in the world. Another peculiar breed is called Pulley, it looks extremely strange and sloppy. The fur is untidy and matted, it seems impossible to capture the dog beautifully in a photo, the image resembles an old mop. Despite his external qualities, the dog has an amazing sense of smell and is able to help in many matters, including owners who have vision problems. Very patient, friendliness makes him an excellent nanny. The history of the breed goes back centuries. The question of the origin of the breed has not been fully studied, official sources prove that the breed lives over 6,000 years. For a long time they did not cross with other breeds, the main qualities are endurance, character, and appearance. Hungary is considered the birthplace of dogs. The Poli dog belongs to an ancient breed. Archaeologists were able to discover data indicating that similar dogs existed in ancient Rome. It is believed that dogs were brought to Hungary by the Turks. The breed was recognized in the late 30s. The final breed standard was approved in the mid-50s. A thousand years ago, unusual dogs began to be noticed next to the Hungarian shepherds, which deftly managed the herd while helping people. The help of a dog is also invaluable when moving a flock from pasture to pasture. The shepherd dog quickly understands where the disobedient sheep will have to be driven, restrains the pace of movement of animals at high speed of the herd or speeds it up if necessary. Unlike other herding breeds of dogs, the intelligent pulley deftly jumps on the backs of sheep, unusually drives the herd and moves with the sheep. Working in the mountains with shepherds, a dog has to run tens of kilometers per day. Jumping onto the back of the sheep, the dog rests, combining two tasks, resting and moving the herd. If pulley is to be in front of the herd, the dog does not run around the flock in a circle, but quickly finds himself on the other edge of the crowd of sheep and holds the cattle, deftly jumping from back to back. Zolowit Squintel Surely, due to the rarity of this breed, most people hear this name for the first time. The breed is endowed with hair only on the top of its head, which is why many consider this breed unattractive and even ugly. At first glance, it may seem that the dog is not healthy and all its hair has fallen out. In addition to such a complex name, the dog is also called the Mexican Hairless or Zolo. Hairless and elastic skin only added to the popularity of the dog, which is an amazing friend. It is impossible to discern a former hunter in her, not by her appearance, not by her character, the breed gives only love and loyalty. Mexican hairless dogs are representatives of the oldest hairless breed, which are loved by dog breeders not only in warm countries, but also in areas with a rather cool climate. Many breeders of these unique dogs are confident that there is no better dog. The uniqueness of this breed lies in the fact that its centuries-long formation took place without human participation, solely on the basis of natural selection. It is almost impossible to find out exactly the cause of the appearance of hairless animals, but it is associated with a spontaneous genetic mutation. Archaeologists were able to find confirmation that the ancestors of the breed entered the American continent along with the first migrants who crossed the Isthmus of the Bering Strait. The difficult-to-pronounce name of the breed is taken from the Aztec language and translated means Dog of the God Zolop, the Lord of Life and Death. It was he, according to legend, who sent these unusual dogs to earth so that they would become protectors of people from harm, and after their death they would lead them to the gates of the afterlife. The funeral procedure ended with the killing of the Zolo and the ritual consumption of her flesh. Of course, today such an event is somewhat disconcerting, but it also confirms that for ancient people Zolos were sacred animals, a gift from God.
In their homeland, Mexico, representatives of this breed are considered national treasures. The Neapolitan Mastiff looks like a depressed monster. Its black color, gigantic height and weight, reaching 60 kilograms, looks intimidating. Its huge head and folds in the skin add originality to its appearance. At the same time, the dog is an excellent family dog. This is an excellent bloodhound and a reliable friend. This is one of the oldest breeds in the world. They are descendants of fighting dogs that were used by the Romans in wars. They were also used in battles against bulls, bears, and jaguars. The ancestors of the breed are considered to be Roman Mastinos, who accompanied legionnaires and participated in battles in the arenas of ancient Rome. But despite the considerable age of the breed, it was recognized only in the middle of the 20th century. Animals of this breed are characterized by clumsiness and sloppiness. The dogs are not aggressive, but they do require early socialization to teach them how to behave around people and other animals. One of the character traits of these dogs is laziness, which is why mastiffs can often suffer from obesity. To prevent this from happening, the animal needs to be provided with daily physical activity and not overfed. Despite their scary appearance, dogs of this breed are friendly, the puppies quickly become attached to their owner and over time become true friends. The dog has excellent protective and watchdog instincts, which wake up when a family, owner and territory appear that need to be protected. Friends, thank you for watching, write your comments, whether you think these breeds are scary or cute, and which breed you liked more than others. Well, that's all for today, thank you all for watching, if it was interesting, support the video with likes, thank you for subscribing, and take a look at what else we have prepared for you.